So although BMW was one of the first luxury automakers to introduce a sport utility vehicle, they were very late to the party when it came to introducing a bigger SUV with three rows of seats. But now you can see they finally rectified that. I'm at the 2018 Los Angeles International Auto Show, and this is the all-new 2019 BMW X7. Let's take a first look. So sitting at the top of the BMW SUV hierarchy means that you're going to have very bold styling. And BMW has basically been on a mission to introduce new styling languages across all their vehicles. And the X7 is one of the first SUVs to show that. You can see it's got a design that's very BMW S with the twin kidney grills. These are the largest twin kidney grills I've ever seen on any production BMW. It actually kind of gives the car almost like two buck teeth. It's something that you're going to have to get used to. I do like the new headlights. These are basically the full LED headlights with an actual laser that's embedded into the headlight. This is the first time we're seeing that in a production car because the U.S. Uh, government has been kind of trying to update their laws which are allowing laser headlights to kind of come into play. This particular one that I'm showing you is actually the uh, M50i model. So it has a 4.4 liter twin turbocharged V8 under the hood with 456 horsepower. The same motor that I showed you guys in the 550i or the M550i. You can also get a 3 liter turbocharged 6 cylinder in the M340i. Now being BMW's largest SUV means you've got some pretty large wheels. 21 inch wheels are actually standard on every trim level of the X7. These are the optional 22 inch wheels, which definitely look great. They're wrapped in 275 40 series tires. That's kind of the wheel size you really expect with a vehicle in this segment. Now, this is a big vehicle, and when you see it in person, you can really see the larger size dimension. It's wheelbase at 122 inches long and 202 inches long overall. This is about nine inches longer than the new X5 in the overall length and about five inches longer in the wheelbase. So they've really added the size that they needed to give this car more space and more presence because you guys remember this is now sitting at the top of the BMW. BMW hierarchy. Now you can see at the rear of the vehicle, it's got the typical new BMW styling language with these LED taillights. It's got this chrome strip that goes by. It's got the X Drive 50i. All wheel drive is going to be standard on this vehicle. And then um, at the, underneath the rear bumper, you have these well integrated parking sensors and the exhaust. I think it's a pretty clean looking car. Remember, this is going to compete with things like the new uh, Mercedes GLS and Audi Q7. Now at the back here, you're going to have a split tailgate design, which is typical with BMWs. You can actually open it up in two different ways. And then the third row C, as you can see, is standard. Standard equipment. BMW didn't have any actual figures for the cargo area, but in typical fashion with this segment, if you got all the seats up, you're kind of limited with the space. BMW gives you a way you can electrically fold down the cargo area or the third row if you guys need to expand it and give you more space. So this is BMW's flagship SUV, and you can see the interior is befitting of a flagship SUV. I'm just kind of stunned. BMW is really taking the criticism, criticism to heart that their old interiors are just stale and dark. This is very warm, very luxurious, very inviting feeling. I love this particular color combination that this one gives you with the blue, with the tan, with the light wood, with the crystal shifter that you see here. It's very Volvo meets Mercedes meets Audi. You have the two BMW screens here, which gives you an LCD at the center here, and then you have a larger, it looks like a 12 inch display, which is a little bit bigger than some of the other ones that I've, I've seen before. This is the, of course the latest version of iDrive. It should have the gesture controls as well. It's got the wireless Apple CarPlay. It's got real stitching along the dashboard here with this beautiful wood. You have the Bowers & Wilkins audio system. All the stitching kind of extends through the door panels with metal speaker covers for the audio system. There's a big panel sunroof. The seats are really comfortable. Expect them to be basically heated and cooled. And there should be a massage function available as well. I mean, this is their flagship vehicle. I like the uh, steering wheel here with this very smooth leather, the paddle shifters. I mean, I'm just really impressed. BMW is really starting to step up their game. I mean, they had to with Mercedes, you know, having really nice interiors. Audi's having really nice interiors. Even Genesis. Is, is kind of stepping in and giving us really nice interiors. Uh, this X7 is, will really impress you when you first step in. But let's hop into the second and the third row and see how the space is. So the second row of the X7 is definitely an area where I would rather be sitting in versus the actual front seats. You can see this particular one has captain's chairs. You can also get it as a bench, so you can either get it as a seven-seater or a six-seater like this one because you can only fit two in the, in the actual third row. You can see this one having the optional LCD screens here, which is prob probably going to mimic what the front seats give you. You have your own set of rear seat climb controls. You have heated seats back here, which there's an empty button. You could probably get cooled seats or massaging seats back here. I'll have to double check that. BMW didn't really have too much in the way of you know options and features because this is a very quick media uh, introduction here at LA. But above you, this panoramic sunroof you can see um, is basically the same thing that I showed you in the new 7 Series where it has those LED lights that are built in that kind of creates like a nightclub effect. Kind of similar to what Mercedes is doing, but overall the second row is mighty impressive. But let's see if the third row can actually fit adults. So the third row of these big vehicles tends to be reserved for kids. Um, getting 
sitting back here, I'm actually really surprised. I'm five foot seven. There is a pretty good amount of headroom. There's pretty good leg room as well because the floor is nice and flat. The seats are also really comfortable. I could sit back here on longer trips, no problem. I also really love the fact that there's another uh, glass roof right here that lets in more light. You have separate controls here for the climate control uh, with rear seat and vents as well. You have all the suede and real stitching coming to the third row here. So BMW didn't skimp. If you guys are sitting in the you know third row of this vehicle, you aren't really shafted with space. But this new X7 is supposed to go on sale in March of 2019. And BMW has already announced pricing the X40i, the uh, v or the six straight six turbo version that starts at just under $75,000. This V8 version, however, is almost $20,000 more, starting at just a tick over uh, $93,000. Of course, with all the options, you can probably expect these to cross the six figure mark when they do go on sale. But I hope you guys have enjoyed my quick first look video at this 2019 BMW X7 at the 2018 Los Angeles International Auto Show for Redline Reviews. I'm Sophie Ambe. that lets in so much light. It also has that LED lighting that I showed you guys in that 7 series from before that kind of you know changes color based on you know what color what information mm -hmm. Start with the sunroof. Okay. Ma'am if you could not put your phone back here for a yeah, second we're almost done. Out. And we're also ahead of you so mm -hmm. Oh my god, this thing keeps moving. Alright, where do we start with? The sunroof. 